hello everyone in this video i will show you how to solve a system of linear equation so uh, for example we are having here two problems so let's solve the first one so this is the first problem so we need to create a matrix and in this matrix we need to store coefficient of x y and z for these three equation so in this matrix for first row coefficient will be 2 1 3 semicolon then these coefficient 2 6 8 semicolon 6 8 18 so this will become our coefficient matrix and uh, these value also we need to store let's create a, another matrix so this is a single column so how we will assign 1 semicolon 3 semicolon 5 so we are done with storing coefficient into matrix and these value also in a matrix now in order to calculate value of x y and z uh, we need to multiply b with inverse of a so you can calculate inverse of any matrix with the help of this function inv so if you will pass this matrix in inv so this is the inverse matrix of a and in order to find out value of x y z what we need to do just multiply this value with b so this will be the value for x y and z now the thing is that uh, it is suggested that don't use this function directly because in a case of singular matrix where the determinant of a matrix is zero in that case this function will become infinity so in order to avoid this problem uh, octave actually having a left division operator so in case if you want to calculate x y z what you have to do you need to write a now instead of division operator you need to use this one okay and then you need to write b now it will calculate so if you can see uh, it has also calculated the same one now we want to see what is the difference between this one and this one so let's take second problem so here we will store our matrix of coefficient it's 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 minus 1 1 and then we'll store 1 2 1 so here if we use our first approach like uh, if we use inverse of a and multiply it with b so if you can see it result in a infinity because the this is a singular matrix and uh, the determinant of this matrix if you want to see so determinant of this matrix a is zero in that case this matrix actually a singular matrix and case of singular matrix if we try to find inverse of this matrix it will result in infinity while if we use the second approach so it has not given that error because it has computed list norm solution so whenever you want to solve system of linear equation you can use this approach thank you very much for watching